This is the other half, which will be joined to that half. So we do the same thing with this one, the half without the mouthpiece, turning it and squeezing it from generally from this middle towards the outside and pressing in with the thumb like this and turning it. So if we do that nicely, we'll have a nice, even, symmetrical, round shape for the ocarina. Now, we want to try and get this thickness down to just under a quarter of an inch, or about one centimeter. And the same with the other half. And we can check it along the way by putting the two halves together and seeing what the difference is. This our half is obviously thicker than this half, so we can pull this half a bit more round and squeeze it a bit more. Right, like that. But remember to keep this inside edge up. This inside edge has got to be, it's got to join from the inside. Now, this is going to be a marriage that's between the two halves that we don't want to break up. So we want to join it across the whole surface of this edge. At this point here, which is just above the mouthpiece, this is where the hole is going to go for blowing. The wind slotter will go inside there, through this end here, and meet up with the hole that we'll make just here. So this has got to be a bit thinner from the practical point of view of building the ocarina. All right, now we've got a nice round shape. It's obviously bigger than this one, so we make this one a bit bigger to match it. So instead of pulling that way to pull it inwards, we're letting it go out a bit and squeezing it to make the whole shape bigger to fit onto this one. Right. Now that's fairly easy.